What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another R Bitcoin. As always, links will be in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, we upload four or five videos a week, so consider subscribing. I'm Bitcoin Jago9, and with that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number 10, Tucker Carlson critiques inflation and cantillionaires. Bitcoin a refuge from inflation. Like we got a YouTube video here embedded. Let's see how long it is, because we're probably not gonna watch it. Yeah, 12 minutes. Nope. But if anybody wants to check it out, links are in the description. Number nine, German bank can introduce 50 million people to Bitcoin. Moneytrainingclub.com article there. No TLDR. Number eight, 650 banks to adopt use of Bitcoin, adding 18 million customers banking and paying with Bitcoin. Google.com article there coin telegraph okay so it's a coin telegraph article tldr new york digital investment group ny dig has secured a 1 billion equity investment led by westcap the funding places its valuation at nearly 7 billion ny dig has been consistently launching new funding rounds throughout the past two years with 100 million raised in april and 200 million in march all right so interesting there seven ten years ago here on this same subreddit don't lose sight of the big picture and then we got a, a link so we're gonna actually have to like build it up then how much bitcoin do you own i own 1.02 bitcoin all of my android wallet app all on my android wallet app Got them from one of those physical coins I purchased and from a little trading how much do you own in Bitcoin how do you keep it from where did you get it? Fun stories would be nice. Wow, that's that's crazy looking at like this from ten years ago. Nuts. <laughs> this one's funny. I've got about 120 of them are in a wallet. The other 80 are in Mount Gox, and I'm playing the buy low, sell high game with them, making a bloody killing. Two or so BTC a day after fees. I love the volatility. That was my favorite. Mount Gox rip. Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, man, that sucks. Number six, Tim Cook says he owns Bitcoin. All right, so we got a YouTube video here also. How long is this one? Three minutes. What's your thought on cryptocurrency right now and potentially either accepting it through Apple Pay or otherwise? Um, it's something that we're looking at. It's not something we have uh, immediate plans to do. Uh, it, for, I would sort of characterize it as there are things that I wouldn't do, like um, uh, our, our cash balance. I wouldn't go invest that in crypto uh, not because I wouldn't invest my own money in crypto, but because I don't think people buy an Apple stock to get exposure to crypto. And so if they want to do that, they can, they can, uh, they can go by micro strategy, uh, you know, invest directly in crypto or through other means. Uh, and so I wouldn't do that. And I'm, I'm not planning to in the immediate future to take crypto for our products as a, as a mean of tender. Uh, but there are other things that we're definitely looking at. Like what? Uh, like I wouldn't want to be, have anything to announce today. <laughs> well, let me ask you a different question because you, you just said that you might not do it personally. Do, do you own crypto and any Bitcoin or Ethereum? Would you play around with this? I, I do. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to own it as a, as a part of a diversified portfolio. And I'm not giving anybody uh, investment advice, by the way. <laughs> when, when did you get interested in it? Uh, I've been interested in it for a while, and uh, I've, you know, been researching it and, and, and so forth, and so uh, I think it's interesting. A lot of people, I don't know if you've talked about this publicly before, are, are people going to say that you're a Bitcoin bull? <laughs> I don't know what they're going to say. I wouldn't, I don't want to put any uh, labels on me. It's just that uh, it's something that, uh, from a personal point of view, I'm, I'm interested in. Maybe I want to check out the rest of it. Links are in the description. Number five.
This is Natasha Che. She is a huge critic of Bitcoin, deflation, and proof of work. She is pro proof of stake chains. Guess where she works? Obviously, IMF. So typical of IMF folks. Extreme decentralization is the solution looking for a problem with very small market demand in a real world. Most Bitcoin and ETH maxis have yet to wake up to that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, how's uh, what's what's Dash price with all their master nodes and stuff compared to Bitcoin and stuff? I don't know. Number four, redditors in 2010 debating whether they should sell or hold Bitcoin on the subreddit. So another one from 2010. I was searching old posts on a sub and found a thread where people were debating whether they should sell or hold Bitcoin in 2010. Its price at the moment was twenty three dollars. Check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy reading the comments. So, uh, I guess this is just one of those. Yeah, okay, Bitcoin user time. Your time for your first test. Will you sell or hold? Will Bitcoin stabilize or tumble? Oh man, that's a good buy right there. Down $7? Yeah, I'd buy some. Man, that's crazy. Nuts. Three? That's it. It's over. What do we got? Is what people thought when Bitcoin crashed to 3K during the COVID-19 crash. What did I do? I doubled down. And guess what? I'm killing myself over not buying more because I thought, I'll just wait and buy more if it goes lower. Remember when hitting 30K was impossible to believe? Heck, remember when $100 was just a dream? We are literally at 44 to 47K and people are acting like it's all over. Investing in... Um, investing is the transfer of wealth from inpatient to patient. Sentiments change every day. Don't be a fool. If you truly believe in the power of Bitcoin long term, these are the days you buy in. There's no such thing as easy money or gaining wealth quick. Those who become millionaires over some S coin that pumps from hype are just a few lucky individuals who got lucky gambling. Wealth buildup takes time. If you're stressed over the current price action, you do not believe in what you invest you will have you you have little to no understanding what you invested in you are in too deep or invested money you need for bills to make a quick flip i'm not telling you to buy the dip i'm telling you that i'm definitely buying the dip only time will tell if i was right was the right decision when it comes to bitcoin i'm willing to take the risk don't leverage trade don't panic sell don't doubt yourself Markets are like a heartbeat on the EKG. If it's not going up and down, then it's dead. If it's only going up or only goes down, it's abnormal. Remember, Amazon stock dropped 90% on multiple occasions. That wasn't a single moment where selling it back then was a good idea. I'm not here to say Bitcoin will go up. I'm not psychic. The markets decide what the price will do. I'm saying I believe in the protocol to do well over a long period of time. Period of time. Just like your high school grades don't define your intelligence, prices don't define the true value of an asset. If I wish you all the best. Hope this helped. We are all Satoshi. All right. Number two, Bitcoin will reach 100K by end of this year. Would be nice if all these people on YouTube who claim this could comment now. Super embarrassing for them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Uh, is it possible? Yeah. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Um, more likely, if we're not in a bear market, then I would say March to July maybe we might see it. I don't know. We'll see. Number one, my wife has just increased the value of all Bitcoins. Oh, God. I had sent her 240 sats via lightning to a mobile wallet to show her how great it is. Now she has deleted the app, and we had not saved the seed phrase. You're welcome. Wow, man, those 240 sats. Oh, man, that's that. Uh, yeah, that's it for our Bitcoin top 10 past 24 hours. As always, everything is down below. And if you do enjoy this content, you know, let us know with either a like or a, a subscribe. You can comment down below. Let us know which one of these was your favorite. Anyway, as always, I'm Bitcoin Jaco9. Peace, love, and hodl. Oh, there.